Good morning, everybody. Um, this is Lee, and hello to my New York friends. Um, I want to just say that I miss you so much, and um, it, and it, it's one of those things you just wish the weekend could have gone on forever and ever and ever, and it will someday when we meet face to face with our Savior, but. I wanted to let you know I got my hair done, so I don't have to wear my sign anymore that says I know I need my roots done. That's a good thing. Um, uh, let's see. Um, and then I also um, went to St. Louis on Tuesday before I went to New York, and so I met lots of new friends there and um, tweeters and... <laughs> Facebook friends and stuff like that. So thank y'all for letting me come there. And then um, my trip to Charlotte and then West Virginia and then back to Charlotte was, I mean, I, I don't, really, don't even have words how much that trip ministered to me and being able to see all of my friends and um, get to sit under so the preaching of um, an old pastor, or he's young, but my previous pastor, um, Clint, and um, uh, it was just, it was just wonderful. It just, just what the doctor ordered, or the Lord Almighty. And then, um, so I, I will post some pictures soon from all of that. Um, uh, Today, I'm on my way out the door to go deliver spaghetti dinners to people all over um, Carmi uh, because we uh, are the Baptist Children's Home where I work two or three days a week um, is having a fundraiser for the Relay for Life, which is, um, I've never heard of Relay for Life before I moved here, um, but I, I believe it's for cancer and things like that. So. Um, anyway, that that's I'm excited to. I, the only ever other delivering job I've had before. Well, I did deliver papers when I was a teen, a little girl, not a teenager. I still rode my bike, and then um, I also delivered flowers in college, and that was one of. If you need a job where you bless people and you don't have to pay pay for their blessing, deliver flowers because you get paid to give blessings to people all the time. Incredible, lovely job, beautiful, smells great. I loved it, loved it. All right, I, I the Lord spoke through me this, this past weekend in New York in a particular verse that I have gone over for a kajillion years all my life. The verse is um, 2 Chronicles 16, 9, which is many of you know is my lifetime year verse, or lifetime verse. It says, for the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to Him. A lot of times we think that we have to have everything in order before God can use us. I mean, even down to, um, I, I've even said in my, in my mind before, well, God, if I lose 20 pounds, then maybe He'll use me better in ministry. <laughs> I don't know. That is so stupid, but I've thought it before. Um, but anyway, uh, we sometimes think we have to have it all together before the Lord will take us to do a particular thing for him. And this verse right here says he's rain, his eyes, he's, his eyes are looking throughout the earth to find the person that he can strengthen the heart that's fully committed to him so he can strengthen that heart. And that's, that's cool. God is just looking for a heart that is committed to Him, not a strong heart, not a complete heart, not a heart that has all the bells and whistles and all that, just a heart that's committed to Him so that He can strengthen it. Um, so that, that's really all I have to share with you today, and um, I hope that you are having a great day. I'm excited about my day. I hope that you can find your heart committed to Him. So that when he ranges across the earth and he's looking for a heart that's committed to him to strengthen for the task that he has, he can find you. All right, that's it for today. I love you. Pictures to come. And I love you again. Goodbye.